Hey guys, this is DT Gaming. Welcome back to a new episode of Grounded. Uh, so we gotta get some food here because we are starving. Um, I had food cooking, and where the hell it went? Hydration is the key to performance. So we need to get some food. Pronto. Can't hit him from here. Peace of me, let's go. Alright, we need some food. Let me make it a little more easier and quicker. Here we will, I need food. Grab some more crack. But we gotta go that way. I remember putting a marker that way. Hope that's a ladybug. <laughs> I hear someone jumping. I'm gonna fill my canteen up too, I think. Let's see if I can get anything here. Five thousand and ten. Porch upgrade might be useful. Uh, fortified base, maybe? Third bases. Okay, we're gonna grab this as well, I guess. Stop shooting. Uh -huh. Yuck. Uh, annoying. Well, come here. I'll show you annoying. Hi, Nathan. Where are you going? Where the hell did it go?
Oh well, let's go cook these. Let's um, food up. Then we'll get going. I'm gonna do my canteen. I put it in here. I wonder if I can make another canteen, that would be useful. Smack that. All right. I got four lanterns. I got my gas mask. And I got that bubble helmet on. Which I need a change here. Alright, um, it is 12.22. I think we're all set, ready to go. Grab one more that drink. Tastes really good. What do I do with that other armor? We're just going to grab that. Let's go find some one more thing of food. Or I could eat a bunch of mushrooms too. Some stuff back here though that I'm not gonna use. Otherwise, I won't be able to carry nothing. Need this. I'm going to need arrows though. If I can't make arrows, then I might have to go grab her some stuff. All 
114 arrows should be plenty for what we need. Yeah, we should be fine. I can't find my own damn marker if it down. The only problem we're gonna have is these aren't soldier ants gonna try to attack us. Probably get around them without getting attacked. Then we got stink bugs to worry about too. I had no choice. I actually really don't need these. Oh wait, there's some down here. <sighs> oh no. I can't do this yet.
Oh wait. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. That's if I was gonna get on the the picnic table. That's fine. I can do that right now. I think we're going over this way. This is where that pipe is at. Protection engage. Actually, I don't want to go up there yet. I gotta do some stuff. Might be a longer episode, guys. Oh my goodness. A lot of meat that we don't want to waste, but no choice. Inventory limited. Breakable. We need some air. I think there's a, a breathe thing up here. Hmm? 
One at a time. <laughs> One at a time. I see another spider after me. Okay, he's in back. Boost it. Heels. I see the little glowing eyes back here. Yeah, it's not glowing eyes. What is that? Bag it back, we're out, almost out of there again. On spider, I hear you. Are you hiding that? What's your nurse spider? The hell was that? Man, that scared the hell out of me.
Okay, we no longer need these on this side. Safety first. I have to drop the spider stuff. Actually, I want to keep the spider web though. See what's sneaking around here. Okay, so arrows don't work very good on that thing. Damn it. Why did you got the frag on? How's the frag for? Make sure I'm not going to forget anything. Attempts to reverse cell age in mushrooms seem to be going well. Mutations are volatile, but productive. The shift from phase one to two was almost a blur. There might be a reason it seemed like a blur, if I may be so bold. 
Well, who asked you, Burgle? Shouldn't you be tending to your tasks instead of eavesdropping through the intercoms? Huh? Now, where was I? Hmm. Oh, yes! My friends! Morasmius Oriatus here. The answer is hiding in that moist, supple flesh. And once I have it, I'll be back to normal, Wendell, in no time. Just like it was before this all fell apart. I'll walk into that presentation room and show those animant... <laughs> ominent schmucks I belong. How do you like that, Director Schmechter? Trudy and the kids will come back. Everything will be back to normal. I just need these blasted shrooms to reveal their secrets to me. Forgive me, Dr. Tatoli. Did you say you wanted mushrooms on that? That's all. Heck, that did. I don't see nothing in here. Wait, there's water? Are you serious? Trudy was right, as always. Perhaps she should have been the inventor and not me. I should have listened to her when she insisted that I stop the experiments. But if I pack it up now, I will have nothing to show for it. No Trudy and the kids, no spacer, not even my own health. The longer I'm here, the more I'm lumping up, aging, folding, raisining. But why? What am I becoming? A wrinkly virus, flailing helplessly in the dirt with the mushrooms. They are my family now. Though we only branched on the evolutionary tree a little over a billion years ago, I can feel us getting closer again already. We're all a bunch of... Fun guys down here, aren't we? Oh, don't look at me like that. At least no one ever heard of a raisined mushroom, did they? Did they? Resource... Why can't they use that?
Can't use that. I need a bomb for that? Don't tell me I can't go in there. That's gonna be horrible. There was a door I seen next to this one. I entered, but it was locked. Like right over here, wasn't it? Go open. Save just in case. I have no idea what's beyond this door. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hey, lady, you got something on your back. Did he just glitch? I agree. Gotta go. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna rest here a second so I can, um, Yeah, I'm just going to let myself heal for a minute. I don't know what's beyond that area. This got ladybug parts, it's it. So my arrow back up. Oh, uh, I see what's making me hurt. That's me. When I ran through it, I kept getting something blown up at me. Spiders in there? Oh no. No, 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 we're gonna die. Oh my god, there's too many. Of them. Well, it's that thing that's a long aim. Many of them. You little bastard.
I actually might grab these because these might come in handy. Everything in here? Ugh. I've had worse, I guess. Bombs. Everything? So we got the super chip. Um, let's get out of here. Chances are the spires by a respawn. Armoring up. Oh, I forgot to put these back on. What am I using? So I'm using flippers. <laughs> Is there supposed to be stones on the ground? Like those brittle shards and stuff? Many else have missed.
Was that the only one that was on the ground? I don't have no, um, Safety first. What the hell is that? I mean, it's like a freaking study rally. What the hell is that? Where is it? was always here. Oh, hell no. I don't want to mess with that right now. Especially all the stuff we got on me. I kind of want to work our way forward that way. Uh, I'm just going to put this back on. Cause... Right, let's go analyze the stuff that we found. Actually, I guess we don't have to analyze nothing. Max consumable stack size. Max arrow stack size.
I guess this might be for food. The core. Right, it's 12.58. We're gonna try to go turn the super chip in. Protection engage. I think I might upgrade this a couple times. Like I guess we'll save the rest and work on some armor. Throw that. That tastes really good. Didn't do too much damage. I'm gonna go store these real quick. I don't know why when you upgrade stuff it gets unequipped.
I like to know where the hell that war weaver's at. Every time I come over here, it's always a war weaver sitting by the dang freaking. Bullspire sleeping. Don't see her moving about to be flying. There he is. It is nice to see a friendly face around here. How can I help you today? Thank you, Hoops. May I call you that? Hand over the super chip and let us hope for the best. One more time. Processing. Processing. The Hayes super chip. Dr. Tully tried deciphering the ageless properties of mushrooms. Disaster struck before he was able to finish. All of these great m memories are coming back. Well, well, well! Some good news! A piece to the Ambigan cocktail recipe is now restored. But not all of it, unfortunately. And I have some strange memory fragments of a Java-matic. Does that mean anything to you? A coffee maker. Interesting development. Although I cannot say I love the taste of coffee, and I certainly have no clue how this fits into the equation. However, we are making progress solving this mystery. But we are still not done. There is one more super chip to go. Ask away, my friend. Which lab would you like to discuss? The Black Ant Lab is located underground near the sandbox. This remote location was chosen by Dr. Tully to do experiments with the newly discovered raw science particle which has the occasional tendency to explode. Alas, a horde of black ants took over the lab and made a huge mess of the place. You can find the entrance in the stinky pile of garbage. Alternatively, if you have the right gear, there is a second entrance in the sandbox. If you see black ants, follow them, and they will lead you back to their anthill. I never even even looked at, at these uh, other labs. After the Oak oh. Lab, the Hedge Lab was the next to be constructed. I mean, I never, I you know, read about it or, you know, listened to the information about Originally, it. Originally, we used it to observe and survey all of the wildlife and resources of the yard from a safe vantage point. After our encounters with the arachnids of the Hedge, Dr. Tully's curiosity led us to experiment on spider silk. An extremely durable and strong material. The goal of our experiments there was to find other practical uses for it. The pond lab is, as the name suggests, located at the bottom of the Tully's koi pond. You will need to take a swim to reach it. As to the science conducted there, Dr. Tully has long had a fascination with Brussels sprouts. He thought that an underwater lab would be the perfect environment for the cultivation of new superfoods. Dr. Tully was interested in the medicinal properties of fungus and molds at miniature scale. We were hoping for a breakthrough by engineering a new type of fungus. Unfortunately, the experiment did not work quite the way Dr. Tully was hoping. Our fungus ended up spreading rapidly and infected the nearby insect life. If you are headed that direction, I would recommend bringing a gas mask and... Okay, so that is done. Um, it's 1740. We gotta get out of here.
What is the little icon up there? Oh, I'm I see. Again, I'm gonna check ahead because I don't know where these spires are at. I know it's kind of like cheating, but you know what? It works. Alright, so we're going to look at this cutscene that's coming up, and then I think we're going to call it quits. We should grab one of those before we get. There's just one right here, but I think because I built this thing, that's why it's not there no more. That's that. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna grab another one anyways. I don't want to go these double waste. I got stuff I could store. I really don't need these noses. Like, there's no reason to carry them around. Uh, 
All right, guys, before we uh, enter this dream, uh, dream cut scene, I just want to uh, wish you guys, um, I mean, I just want to thank you guys all for wa watching. If you guys liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Dr. Schmechter, these... Director. Uh, Director Schmechter, these specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. We're close to eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course, my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Now then... What progress has been made on Kovalin space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully, a lifetime failure, best the brightest minds at Ominent? Yes, sir. Uh, we're still working on that formula. I know it's been months, but the Embiggen process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted. Ah, uh, too bad for you. Prepare the specimens for termination. This isn't what I signed up for. Schmechter? Uh, what a goofy name. Matches his appearance. If he's in charge at Ominent, he's probably the one responsible for the kidnappings. I'm better off here. At least they're not experimenting on me anymore. To find the cure for raisining? Prunes are better anyway. I wonder if Virgil knows about how this is connected to Dr. Tully.